Hello YouTube, welcome to a new shortish mini series, I guess I'll call it, because it's not technically a series, but it is a series, and technically, but it's very short. Basically, what this series is, is the intro to Way Shorts, because one, in the time that I've been playing Way Shorts, me and Frank, we've been playing it wrong again, I quote again, because the rules are so dang complicated to learn, and... I'm pretty sure in No Talk Episode 1, I talked about, like, rules and, um, other stuff that I had confusion with that this thing does explain. And, uh, yeah. So, even after the short time that we've been playing, I learned once again that we have been playing wrong. And I might shut a misplay in this video or the introduction series. But for now, because I've been playing, mis I've been playing wrong this whole time again... I have concluded to make a uh, Waste Wars introduction series, mini series, yeah, they'll call it like that. And for one, this does actually help because I remember in yeah, episode one of Don't Talks, the very first episode of Don't Talks, um, someone asked what Waste Wars is, and I'll explain in a video, which I seriously don't remember commenting that, but I guess here's that video, Kakrot 221, I think that's his name. So, part one, well, first of all, the very first video I used the Love Live map. And it's a very good, good example because I have a Love Live deck. And they will be helping me. Oh, the glare. Kind of. Oh, that's hot. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Hmm. Oh, this is making more of a hell no. Oh, there we go. Alright, so. We'll use the Love Live to help me do this video. So, first of all, put this away. And I believe we'll do, uh, I guess we'll do it in like three parts, maybe. I'm not sure how many parts there'll be, but we'll do it in parts. So, first of all, we're going to do, let's see, cards. Yeah, we'll do cards. The types of cards. We have this. Um, this, this. Then, yeah, sure. That, oh, yeah, I need that. I really need that. I need these two. I need that. I need that. Oh, I should have prepped for this. Darn it. I don't need that. Excuse me while I go get go through the database. Looks like I'm gonna have to bring my Madoka deck in this because I'm unprepared for everything. Oh, that's. That's. Uh, that's. Uh, I don't need you. No, I got you. And, okay, that's it. I need one more. Pretty sure I need one more. No, I got you. Here we go. Thank you. Oh, wait, no, never mind. Uh, okay. Alright, luckily, Frank left me his, his, left me his cards. Alright, so. Sorry for the. Whatchamacallit? The knots. Prepare, pre preparation, yeah, there we go, preparation, vocabulary, in this, um, I didn't really think I'd be doing cards, but, so, part one, cards, the wish horse, so, let's start off with the left to right, because, so, first off, one of the, the cards in wish horse, we have characters, so characters, of course, divided by level zeros, level ones, level twos, and level threes, And then, we zoom in on a sp Oh my goodness, that is dark. Is there really no light? Oh gosh. Okay, one time. Put it there. Ah, oh, better. Uh, Alright. So, card. Card picture. 
Um, you have level, cost to play the card, skill box text thing, its power, its name, and this is called the soul. Basically, that's like if you're a Vanguard player, it means critical or how much damage you do if you attack. And then on the top right, you'll see it has another soul there. So then, in Vanguard terms, if you check this card through attacking, you get an extra crit or soul. So yeah. So those are the character cards and what they look like. Um, oh crap, I should, I'm so bad at this. Alright, be back man, one more time. Get this. Get this. And I have that. Okay, good. Perfect. Wait, yeah. Oh wait. No, 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 no. Oh my goodness. Why am I so terrible at this? Okay. Oh, think, 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 think. Okay, forget. So you guys, you're good, thank you. So then, we have character cards, but then we also have color cards. Yeah. Fancy. Yeah, I'll do that. So, in Wage Wars, all the decks are... Freaking glare. Or not glare, but like... Need to pay attention to the thing. And focus it. It's very dark. I don't like that. But then there's glare if I do that. Okay, let's just put down more. Ow, freaking. Oh, there. So, Waste Wars, you have character cards, and each sort of card or deck slash series is separated by color because you can see that this is a blue card. Sal's blue, Love Live is red, Lola also has yellow, and then Madoka has green. So, what do these colors mean? I totally forgot, so I'm going to look it up right now. Because this thing's layer. So, I'll take a look at this real quick. Because all the colors need something. Uh, blah, blah, blah. No, this is it. Oh. Uh, okay, here. So, in my Wars, there are four types of colors in all decks. Blue means advantage. Red means technique. Green means power, and yellow means special or speed. Yeah, that's what it says speed. So yeah, you can build a deck off of the type of color that a deck of series have, or like you know, in the South Child deck, it was blue yellow, but you could build whatever you color you want through the booster. So yeah. So, uh, how do I put this? Lots of variety in this game, pretty much. Um, you have the color system. You have characters that from one zero two three. Like always, pretty sure there's not a level 4. If there was, then I'm probably noob, but, you know, English format. So, that's about it for character cards. And, oh, I guess, you know, characters are the basic, you know, you call them, they attack. You call them to attack your opponent's characters and whatnot. They die, they go to the graveyard, touch waiting room, and etc. And, yeah. Anything else about characters? Nope, that's about it. So... I'm going to put these back later. Put you back, because you're special. Signed, I mean you. Next card in Waste Wars, we have event cards. So event cards, if you play Yu-Gi-Oh! or something, they're like your magic or trap cards. Well, actually, no, they're just magic cards. So basically, on your turn, you play this card, it does something, and then it goes to the waiting room. That's it. And I should have gotten all the other colored waiting cards. So just imagine that there are red, blue, yellow, green event cards too, just saying. So, like, actually let's just do the normal zoom in. Like, dang it, it's dark. There. Uh, the glare's not bad like that. Okay, good. We'll stick it like that. So, in a normal event card, the level, you have to play the card, the cost, the, sim the crit or soul symbol, if there is one there. The effect, what it does, some text from the card, the picture, and the name of the card. This is no power, because you don't call these cards to attack. You play them, you get effect, and then it goes to the waiting room. That's it. It's a one turn, one play card thing. So yeah. And... Legion... I'm just kidding. Um, that's about it. Event cards are not bad. Um, each child deck probably gets all of them. And event cards from... From my understanding of like the English cards we have so far, they kind of do the same thing. Like, so this card, what it does, 
when I play it, I could search my, what is it again? My waiting room, the, or the slash graveyard, and I get a character back, so yeah. And other event cards, they do like, search your deck for a card, search your graveyard, waiting room for blah, yeah, yeah you get the point, so... There are probably multiple effects of event cards that I don't know about because we're playing in the English format. We don't have all the cards accessible from Japan, so there's a lot more to this game that I don't know about. But, you know, we'll have to wait and see. And we're sitting at 10 minutes. Good. Alright. Next are the Climax cards. So these are sort of like spells, I guess you'd say. Or... Oh, okay, so they're like heal, they're like triggers if you play Vanguard. So, in your, in when you're defending, you could be a heal trigger. Or in your turn, they could be like, I don't know, a skill card or something like that. So basically, what Climax cards is, they're basically, you play, so on your turn, you can play them for effects and bonuses. Or when you're damage checking them, you could cancel damage out and do effects based off of you triggering them. So, in this game of Wastewars, we have a lot of variety of cards, and you can see we have yellow cards, green cards, red cards, yellow cards, same thing. So, let's start off with what the different type of card effects have. So, this one, uh, hopefully you can see, um, okay, hopefully you'll be able to see it. So, what this card has, you have a picture, yeah, some dude pointing at me, you have the skill traits here, and you see here, you have the soul, so basically... You trigger this when you attack, you give you get a soul, so extra damage. And then you also have this fire icon, or I hope you can see that. You have this little fire icon above that soul. And what that means translates to is when you check this, yeah, when you check this, you your opponent has to take one damage. Or does a damage check. Yeah, there we go. And it is annoying as annoying as fuck. Cause when me and Frank play this, so like he texts us as like damage yourself or burn or whatever you want to call it. So yeah, I hate this so much. But then that's only when you trigger it through checking. When you play it from your hand, all your characters get plus one K and one soul. So basically, if you look somewhere in this text box here, you will have the skill from when it's played on the field and what the burn card means. So then also you have the color, the name, some text. From the scene or whatever and that's about it so that's just one type of climax card next one uh, the this one oh my gosh i really wish you could see filming on this match so terrible guys i apologize so all right so this gold bar or well it looks like gold yeah it's like three gold bars stacked together so this card what it does is when you trigger this, you put this card in your hand, and then you put the top card of your deck into stock. And what stock is, is basically the cards are what lets you play skills in the game. Oh, I should have got water. I'm going to get water for part two. This is tiring. And it's hot. And like I said, you have a skill here. All the card skills, when you play from hand, are different, varying from the card. So just remember that. And name, color, image. Yeah, so this card... When you trigger it, add to hand, put the top card of your deck in stock. This card, oh my god, I'm so tired. Hopefully you can see this card. Alright, so it looks like a gold bag of coins. Yeah. So when this card triggers, you can... You put the top card of your deck into your stock. So basically, when you trigger check it, you're putting the, trig the card you triggered into your stock. And if you trigger this, you put another card in your stock. So basically, it means like you stock two. Yeah, you stock two cards. What it does. Then you have the normal generic. Oh my gosh, the glare. And I don't think you'd see. Oh fuck. All right. So then you also have generic soul cards, where if you trigger this, you get plus two soul in your attack. You deal two more damage. Yeah. And then oh my gosh, my favorites, favorites, favorites climax of all time. People ramble a lot that this is the best um, climax in the game. So what this is, is, is the gate. It looks like a, uh, hopefully it looks like a gate. It's a door or something like that. So it's a gate climax card. That's red. So I just want to say that gate climax cards only come through red. And like, you know, some like this card, the gold bag might only come in green. 
the gold might come in green, and the yellow gets the burn, and this one, which I'll explain later. So yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll put them together. So, color coding. Yes. Organization. So, what the gate does, back to that. When you trigger this card, the gate, you get to search your waiting room for one character and add to your hand. Yeah, that's pretty good. And I probably said this in my Love Live Child Deck review, but, you know, just repeating it. So, you take this to damage. Oh, I checked this. I get a character back to my hand. Boom. Uh, you cannot do that when you play it. It only happens when you trigger it. So, when you play this, you give your character's blah skill, depending on what this says. It's only when you trigger it, you get the special effects on the top left. And this card, very helpful in situations. So, let's put this closer. Because, why not? And now, one of the most sort of other cards hate in the game. So, you look at this awesome Climax card with all of you using it. Like these girls right here. So, if you look at the top left, you will see a torn the soul. And you will also see a tornado above that. So, basically, a tornado. I might be speaking really fast, guys, but it's because it's really late at night. And I'm tired. And it's hot. And talking for so long really tires you, so I apologize. Anyways, what the tornado does is basically when you... Can you see it? Yeah. So what the tornado does is when you trigger this card, you get to force one of your opponent's card back to their hand. You may, so you don't have to do it. I'm pretty sure it's a you may. Okay, yeah. You may choose one of your opponent's cards from the field and return to their hand. So if they last turn they play like their ace like this, and you're like, bam, tack. So, oh, I can't get rid of it. You trigger this. And you're like, boom, get out of here. Like, yeah. So, that's what the tornado is. The tornado is. And basically, only... So, in the yellow card, you only get the burn and the tornado in yellow. And then in gates, you only get red. Or gates appear in red color. From what I've seen so far. And then these things, you they might appear in green. I'm not sure about that because I don't have other that much cards on me right now. So... And yeah, that's about it. So those are the kind of cards that basic oh yeah, just saying climax cards are really important and for one, you could play them for dealing damage or like to gain bonuses on your turn when you're attacking. But then whenever you take damage and you check these, you get to cancel out damage. So there's basically like heal triggers if you play Vanguard, like I do. Haha. <laughs> and yeah. These cards are really important in the game, and they will somehow lead to your destruction or doom, depending on which one you have. So, that ends the first part of the intro to Waste Wars. Hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for part two, which is the field setup and all that stuff. And yeah, don't like the video if you enjoyed, and if you're liking the game, it's pretty fun. I'll do a review of the game later on, and I'm really tired and I need to get water. So, stay tuned for part two, and like, comment, subscribe. And Domo from T Cardiff signing out.